What is going on guys, Dan here, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a Premier League SBC Abdullah Decore review. Um, so obviously, I know here it says I played one game, did recorded this all after the first game, but I played the five games with him. Um, I don't know whether it's because I'm going to be biased as a Watford fan, um, but I I feel like he's okay. Um, for the 350k you paid for the SBC to do him, unless you're building a decent French team or you're building a fairly good Premier League team but not like a meta or you're a Watford fan, I'd say it's worth it. Um, but for sort of 350, 400k um, that you're paying to do the SBC, I wouldn't say it's entirely worth it unless you're doing sort of a team like that. Um, but as you can see, he's six foot, uh, high medium work rates, uh, right footed, three star weak foot, three star skill moves. But as a central midfielder, as sort of like a defensive midfielder, uh, you're not going to be doing many skill moves with him. Um, weak foot shouldn't matter too much, but as you can see there, um, he's got the 72 pace, 82 shooting, 80 passing, 82 dribbling, 85 fitting, and 88 physical. So um, he's, he's a fairly well-rounded card. Um, but yeah, let's just go into the, uh, the in-game stats and just show you there. So as you can see here is in-game stats, um, so obviously with all the chemistry boosts and all the chemistry star boosts I've got him a basic but obviously in this FIFA you get the extra points essentially um, for the player chemistry and the team chemistry. Uh, so 72 pace, 67 acceleration, central sprint speed, it, it's not great um, but you go into his shooting stats, you use shot powers 93 with a plus 5 boost, uh, long shots 83, they're fairly decent. Um, as you go into the pass, you get 83 vision, 89 short pass and 81 long pass, sort of crucial stats for a, for a holding midfielder or as a central midfielder uh, where I'm playing him. Um, so you go into the dribbling, uh, sort of the higher end stats here, you got the ball control is 86 with a plus 5 and the dribbling uh, with a plus 5 is 84. But yeah, he's, he's, I feel like he's got quite good, good close control, um, obviously trying to get out of tight spaces just to create the pass. Uh, defending is obviously where it's starting to matter, the defending are physical. 80, 88 deceptions, 85 marking, 89 stand tackle, uh, and 80 slide tackle. I feel like the sort of the standing tackle and the strength work fairly well um, with this card. He, f he holds the ball up quite well. Obviously, 85 defending, 88 physical. Six foot, you would expect him to be holding up the ball fairly well. Um, but yeah, mentioning physical, going into the physical, 76 jump him. Being reasonably tall-ish, six foot-ish, is a, is a decent height to win a lot of headers. Um, but obviously, without the plus five, seventy-one jumpings is not the best. But probably the best stat uh, on the well, the the best stat on the column, the most useful stat, uh, ninety-eight stamina. So you can literally hold the R two button. You can just run around like a headers chicken for the whole game. And when it comes to full time, you'll still have a fair amount of fair amount of stamina left or energy left just to run around which is useful if it's late on in the game and you're trying to counter attack we'll see being strong hold off players and still have the energy to run and burst through uh, 85 strength and 82 aggression so there's his in-game stats um, just, as I said well-rounded card probably biased because I'm a Watford fan but that's it um, I'm gonna go into some of the, the the goals and assists that he or the goals that he's been involved in and the assists that he's got uh, over the few games that I played with him. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and until next time, see ya!